guys, it's Patty from Patty's Crafty Spot, and I am here to share with you the um, inside, front, and back covers of our snowman album that we are making. And this is what we're going to do right here. So the die to make these is one of the new Creelys Nest XXL dies, and this is number 104, and this is the flower. And let me show it to you. So what we did here was we made a bunch of little pockets little fun interactive pocket so you have this cute little image on the front and then you have all these nice little tuck spots to go ahead and tuck in photos or tags all right in here and if you depending on how you set them up with your photos you could have little people peeking out on their own stuff which would be super cute <laughs> There is also room if you wanted to go ahead and throw in a cute little tag, just like that. So let me show you how to get started. Let's just show those cute snowmen again. So cute. All right, so let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out some pieces. So for this one, I used the three largest sizes from this pack here. So you're going to start off with your base page, which is eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then you're going to cut your pattern paper to go right on top. And I didn't want the background too busy on this because I wanted the, the little flower pockets to be the focus. So I went with a real simple background because if you got it too busy, your, um, your little flower pockets would kind of get lost. And I wanted them to stand out. So, I'm going to glue that right on there. Nice and smooth. Now, what you're going to want to do with these pockets here is you need to back them a little bit because just by themselves with the cardstock, they're a little flimsy. So, I went ahead and cut out um, my cardstock out of the same size that I'm making my piece from. And we're going to go ahead and glue those on. This way it gives your pockets something to adhere to. And they're a little sturdier. So we're going to attach them. Make sure we're all even. Press that down. Now, if you wanted to, you could go for a whole different look. Instead of making them line up even, you could off-center them. So you could do them like this. And that would be a really cute look, too. So that's with the black cardstock. You could even use some colored cardstock on that, and it would be really cute. So we're just going to glue all these down. And lining them all up, preferably before my glue dries. This has got to be the fastest setting glue ever. And it's not even, so nope, I guess it's now it's stuck there. Oops. That won't be too bad. It's off-centered right here, but it's going to be hidden by the other pocket, so I won't stress too much about it. I do like them even though, but I think that one will be hidden. All right, and get this one down. Trying to make sure it's even first. Okay. 
And last one. Aren't they cute? The little birds. All right. Here we go. Okay, let's see. If it's going to show, I might redo that one, but let's see. So this is going to be my first pocket. It's going to go like that. And then this little guy is going to go here. And then this one over here, and then this one right there. Isn't that cute? And I guess it's going to hide enough of it, so I won't stress about that one. All right, so now I'm going to look to see where I'm putting this on here, and I only want to do glue in this area because I want to be able to use that as a tuck spot. So for me, I just fold it like that, so I know I have to glue. Oops just that area there. And I'm going to go ahead, center it to the page. Just like that. So you have it open in the top. And now I'm going to go ahead and glue these ones down. So just so I know I get it in the right spots, I'm going to set them both there. And then on this guy, I'm going to glue this area. So, just like that. And just be careful you don't go off your page. And then this guy, same thing. Whoops. So I'm using the bottom three petals. And then I just put my fingers here so I know where I'm gluing. Just like that. And then this little guy is going to go right here on the bottom. Let's get him lined up, and again, holding it, and I'm just going to glue these three bottom here. And I'm go ahead and set that right like that. And there you go. How simple was that? So then you can go ahead and add your photo mats again. This one's a big one, so you could always have room for a big one, kind of angle it in there. Although I think it's a little too big. But you could go down. This one I think is a five by seven ish. Oh no, six and a half by four and a half. So you could go just a little smaller on that. Or actually, you could stick it right down in there. And then maybe this guy up here. You could do all kinds of combinations because like that, that's cute. And then of course your tags. All right, so this one was very simple to make. So that is what your inside front and back covers are going to look like. And then I have my pages over here ready to go. So I have this created. And then we have this one here I did. And then here's another one. Like this one's got tags. This pops up. I'm waiting to make the rest of my tags until I know what I have left for paper because I don't want to cut something. This one's cute. I want to cut something that I uh, 
might might need for the other stuff. So I'll do my tags all last. And then this one too. And then this one here. And then it just opens up. And that's what I have there. That one's so cute. All right, so anyway, so I have my three pages that are, so one, two, three of this style, and then I have one, two, three of this style, and then I have my nice, fun inside, front, and back cover pockets. All right. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know this is a short, sweet little video. The holiday season has got me going insane right now. So um, I didn't get a chance to do a longer video for this. However, I kind of like this nice little inside cover with the pockets and stuff. So it's kind of simple, but yeah, I think it's really fun. All right. So anyway, um, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, Patty's Crafty Spot, or the Creoles YouTube channel, Go ahead, give them a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, guys, happy crafting. Bye.